has officially been two weeks since my surgery and it was not fun. It was not fun at all. Like I had H. pylori cramping in my back acid reflux galore because that's what H. pylori is it's basically a lot of acid in your stomach um to put it simply there, I'm pretty sure there's more to it but that's how I understand it is that it just you know and most likely the doctor said most likely I had it before I had the surgery and I was you know if I had acid reflux problems that I most likely had H. pylori before the surgery but the sword surgery just, you know, they test you for it and ta-da! You have H. pylori, which I did. I had huge, I had massive, um, massive heartburn. So I would take um, a pill every day that was prescribed to me. But for some reason, man, it was rough rough girls and boys it was rough like I'm not a and I'm not a crybaby when it comes to like surgeries I've had four c-sections and I've had one c-section when I was like really sick like coughing and everything and it sucked so but I felt like a baby in this surgery it was I felt like such a crybaby my doctor was like well, I don't know what to tell you, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ah. Like, it hurts so bad. But I seen my primary doctor um, here in Ignacio, and um, he actually took me off one of the pills, one of the, one of the pills that I was taking, and he said, turns out that that pill was probably the reason why, <laughs> the reason for all the problems in my stomach, not necessarily H. pylori itself. So um, that was a rude awakening for me. I um, was really bummed out to hear that because, you know, I was taking these pills religiously and to know that one of these pills were actually the reason why I was hurting so bad, really. It really got to me so I'm like I'm gonna go check my mail so I've been walking um, a lot but these last couple of days was it um, like yeah literally the last couple of days I've actually felt good enough to go out I, I went to my doctor's on Monday yesterday and today my potassium levels are low so he gave me some stuff for potassium for my potassium and um, took me off of one of my meds and um, just moxicillin for it for my H. pylori which will heal because of that but I think everything will be I think everything's on the I think everything's on the up front now or going up the I guess the down slope, but I don't know. Oh my gosh. I was in so much pain though, like I have no idea. My kids. My kids would freak out for me because all the dry heating I was doing. Oh like I was trying to throw up so hard and so so hard. But I couldn't because I only had liquid in me like water and water and uh, protein but today is officially two weeks since my surgery and now i can start um, i can start um curate i'm so scared though I really am scared. I don't know if I want to 
if I want to do it. I've lost a little over 30 pounds. I think like 33 pounds I've lost since surgery. And I'm just really scared too. Um, with the acid, because of my the acid reflux that I've been experiencing really bad. I'm really scared to take some some food in. I don't I'm scared I might take the wrong food and it's gonna just trigger my acid reflux even more. <sighs> but I made it two weeks <laughs> and gosh, it was the longest two weeks of my life. I really regretted it for for a couple of days. I regretted getting the surgery, honestly, because it hurt that bad. I hurt. I was in so much pain, and to see my kids, see their mom in so much pain, knowing that they couldn't do anything for me, I think that really hurt me. That hurt me a lot because my kids were like, "Mommy, what's wrong with you? Why are you growing up?" It hurt so much though, but I finally, 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 I think I found the culprit. My doctor did, my primary doctor, so, um, now I'm just trying to, I guess at lunch I'm going to try some pureed food, um, maybe I'll try some yogurt or how that works because I have to take some kind of food for my um, potassium so I have to do that regardless and so I think I'm gonna get me some yogurt or something maybe mashed potatoes I'm not sure I just want to take some that's not gonna trigger my acid reflux because that would suck <laughs> But that is my two week update. Walking a lot helped. I walked around in the neighborhood um, drinking. I still drank all the fluids I could and actually was getting all the fluids in that I need. Even though, excuse me, even though I was hurting so much, I was still getting the fluids that I needed in. Um, my protein was good. Everything was good. Now I just gotta start puree foods. Um, everything else is alright. The pain of just the acid alone was worse. It was so bad. It was so bad. Uncomparable. But when I asked some of my, some of my, um, some of my Facebook, you know, group helpers, how they were dealing with it. They all told me that, oh, well, I'm, we're doing good. I have no problems. And it made me feel like a crybaby. It made me feel like, I'm like, crap, am I, like, weak or something? Am I, like, doing something wrong here? Is there something wrong with my body? I was getting very concerned that there was something wrong with my body because I was not feeling up to par. I was not feeling like all these other people were. So I'm like, there's something wrong with me. There's something wrong with my body. I could feel it. But now, just with that one medication gone, I feel so much better. So, two weeks out. No pain with the surgery areas just pain with a lot of acid but that's it and trying to get things done I think it's a little hard for me too because um, I found out yesterday that I had lost a good friend of mine a good co-worker and I didn't know and so I'm dealing with that. Dealing with the loss of a friend slash coworker. And dealing with a little bit of arguments between me and my husband. Um, there's some 
reality check for me, I guess, that life does go on and keeps going on for others, but other people it stops abruptly. And that no matter how much you love your partner, that there's still going to be ups and downs. There's still going to be arguments between you two. And I'm okay with that. We'll be okay. But this is just a reality check for me. And I hope this gives you a little bit of insight that, and to let you know that if you are also dealing with pain, with acid, that you're not alone. That I feel it too, that you're not alone. Talk to your primary doctor and see what he can do. But that's all I have for you today. You have a good day, okay? Keep shining.